In previous video, I share about new JAT GPT, DALI 3, and how this is what I call king is back because quality it can produce and everything is stunning. But general, if we look on new JAT GPT, it is literally Swiss Army knife with AI because you can create so much and so much stuff is hidden and how powerful it is. I'm surprised I don't see so much um, on YouTube videos about this or people sharing because it is a huge change. So let me go over and tell what blades or what tools we have it in with switch knife. So notice right here we have it browse with a Bing. So it's meaning up to current stage if you're going if you're going normal just ask it says September 25 version so it it is a little bit older but if you're going and you select browse with Bing at this time you can go to current information and retrieve directly from the web let me show you example so what we're going to do is compile latest information from all web sources about black hole so let's go ahead click on and you notice right here it's come up browsing so it's actually going on the web and search. It's meaning you can go through the news, you can go through the latest publications or anything and retrieve cross-reference information and everything. This is very powerful because for the data analysis, for the reference, this is quite a bit powerful tool here what we have it. And of course, here we have it, our result coming. Notice. We also have an option now add where the sources come from, which is very important because citations is key when we compile data. On this case, we can track if it's created by another AI or what sources was creating. So this is one thing. So let's go now again and let's look on another tool. The great one is advanced data analysis, and I use this constantly when I need to program or anything. In this case, you can actually take data structure, import it and use it this way if you programmer. For example, let's say this. Let's say we want to write. Going and says write simple snake game in a Python. Usually it's come up and says, hey, it is a little bit hard, but there you go. You can see it's great code that we can actually use it. And normally you just copy paste this code and you can produce beside it you can simulate terminals here you can simulate different options and as well you can continue as before write story for example let's say this write short poem about tronic bird the more interesting about write in English, Russian, Japanese, and what other language we should use it. How about um, Polish? Let me go over just to verify. You can see right here we have this instantly translation this tool was almost coming like from the star trek time when people can translate instantly look right here it's instant translation this is very useful when you create like youtube videos or anything or just want to translate one from another and they become not bad i actually take sometimes book copy paste to confirm how they translate it and it done not bad at all. For example, if you have it like Russian book translated in English, you want to go back in Russian and just compare to original, they very close. So it is very impressive how it's work. So another chat that was created, if we look at these plugins and plugins literally open for you a so wide area. So let's go click on plugins and you know, that's right here. I have a code pad, which you can do, connect directly to Wikipedia create diagrams if I need it. But also ChatGPT, as we said before, it could create images. But do you know, same on that analysis or default, you can use it. You can also 
ask to write music for you. So example, we can go and say write short music in techno pop style. Let's go click OK. And now just right here. So it does creating. We can also says produce for me or create the music. Um, interesting things when I create with this type of music. This was very primitive, like on a level beep, 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 kind of or create MIDI file that you can to take and put it in. But it does actually work. So you can actually create the music with this. And of course, creating graphics, it's even better. I already looked before on DALI, why it's so important. But here is a little bit more than other um, prompt creating other ones uh, generators because it is using language, but it's all linked together. So it's not every prompt new. You keep on growing and creating. So for example, let's go here. Okay, so let's go say right word Halloween as it made out of red apples with poison green translucent slime. I mean, even with my bad language, I would real surprise it's actually try to understand. So let's see when it's generating. And notice it does create, but it is Halloween kind of misspelled. So what you can do in this case, we can say, um, uh, actually, let's do this. So we can do like this, spell correctly in the image. Oh, I misspell image, but I'm sure it will pick up probably. And here's our result. So we have our Halloween spelled directly. Interesting because when we preview, this is what the, as a prompt, the AI decide to create. So it's very interesting way to create the images and adjust. And when you see it does not work, you can slightly work with this to make sure it is showing correctly. Of course, not everything is perfect. One thing I wish it was cross model capability. For example, you can still go in like DALI 3 and write command commands so you can ask just normal commands and it's a right for you so it's not necessarily will just create image it's still two-way conversation you can ask questions it will reply to you and tell hey this is what you can do or just simplicity some other stuff for example you can ask this to validate copyright and when by the way if you do something with copyright it's common says hey we cannot create some stuff based on copyright and you can say don't uh, for example use this copyright like if you're going with a snow white and it says maybe going and says hey disney snow white it's still be under copyright it says well no you can <laughs> not negotiate but you can actually have a conversation you can tell them no don't based on the disney base it what disney based on because that is come way before from all the fairy tales on this case is okay i will go and i will based on what is available for public domain so this is kind of very nice things about the dali specifically here and chat gpt that is a both way creative um, kind of path you working directly with AI in some cases very easy to forget and think this is some person there but it is it's just application it's a program which is very cleverly done but it is just an application and you work with a natural language to try create anything from programming games not to create some different images to research and create maybe outline for your script or some other stuff it is truly Swiss knife. And beside with those add-ons and plugins, right here, you can, with the plugins, you can actually go and download, install so many different and literally growing because they even have it text to voice. So if you need it, you can do everything. Write script, write music, create imagery, create, even ask create for your code to put that imagery together as a video so it's all can be done here in one application so i think this is truly um swiss army knife and it's cost what is 15 dollars i think a month or 20. it's a 
even great image versus uh, mid journey it's a day it this is great way better more interesting and it's much cheaper than mid journey plus you have all additional tools so this is truly swiss army knife of ai and i do highly recommend for you to experiment if you not yet try it well thank you for watching this video if you like it please subscribe give us thumbs up let me know what you think and have a great day